Hey guys, welcome to the Hyperlink where we cover the latest stars as the news as they drop. Citizen 2952 just dropped with the resource management and I wanted to uh, touch up on some points um, in regards to this and how resource management in Star Citizen is going to shatter the gaming industry um, for the better. And I think it's, uh, it's, it's going to be amazing once we get our hands on it. So the reason why I would say um this will shatter the industry is is the fact that um the kind of gameplay that this will offer is completely different um it doesn't actually exist in in gaming right now right the the fact that you have to manage your energy resources life supports um maintaining the items that 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 um that that runs these things um relay handling access control um, as well as gravity is is it doesn't exist in anywhere in gaming right now so let me tell you a quick story um recently a few like a month or two ago cig did a test um in uh, one of the 3.17.2 i think or 17.1 where they increased the player count right in the ptu and it was 100 players that were finally allowed to play on the server and it was it, it was mind blown for everybody to finally see 100 players in the game and they decided to do ship combat right they i think it was like 50 versus 50 or something like that and within just above one of the planets you see like tons and tons of ships massive ships just going at each other fighting 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 and you know from if you're a person that doesn't know what Star Citizen or anything about Star Citizen, you watch that video, yeah, 100 different ships fighting each other. That looks really cool. Yeah, it is amazing to see something like that. But what they don't realize is, is the fact that in each big ship, there is a team of guys, you know, coordinating, you know, you know, like communicating to the pilot, you know, adjust your shields, you know, person that's managing the, uh, the, the, the missiles. The person that's actually flying the pilot, making sure that they they, they move accordingly. Person that's uh the, the gunners making sure they're coordinated, making sure that they're engaging whoever is actually attacking the most dangerous threat. And and that's all without power resource management, right? And the fact that that's happening on each ship was just mind blowing because people don't realize that that's how um you know the the, the level of detail within the game. You know, so now that the fact that they're going to be adding resource management, so now you're going to need engineers, actual players that know how to run the ship in terms of the resources, the power management, you know, the um, life support, make sure there's enough oxygen in there, make sure there's gravity working, make sure the, the power relays, the, relay, the relays are actually working this way, power is being routed throughout the ship, or if not, maybe a shield generator might go down if, if a relay is disconnected, you know, so like, all of that is happening in one ship you know along with your, your your gunners communicating and trying to fend off whoever's attacking them the pilot trying to avoid uh danger the 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 missile uh operator also trying to hit targets you know the person that's managing um the the, the shield generator and things of that nature all of that is happening in one ship you know just imagine when that happen when that's actually in the game like that's going to shatter the industry because this type of gameplay doesn't exist in gaming so those are my thoughts you guys let me know what you guys think about this do you think this is going to change the entire industry for the good let me know in the comments below i will see you on the next one